Are you ready to hear the loudest sound ever recorded in tennis? It's Maria Sharapova's grunts. Maria Sharapova is known for her loud grunts on the tennis court. She has been labeled as one of the loudest grunters in the game, often clearing past 100 decibels on court 123. At Wimbledon 2013, Sharapova met her match when she took on Portuguese qualifier Michelle Larcher de Brito at SW19. The match became known as the Battle of the Grunters as their screams hit record levels. GuinnessWorldRecords.com reports that Sharapova's grunts reached 103 decibels. According to a scientific study by Canadian and American researchers, the loud grunts of some tennis players can give them a real advantage over opponents. The study tested 33 students at the University of British Columbia in Western Canada. Hundreds of video clips were shown of a player hitting a ball to either the left or right. The students had to determine the direction quickly but on some shots were subjected to noises simulating grunting. The findings were unequivocal. Basically, when the video clips did have a grunt, the participants were not only slower to react but they had lower accuracy levels. So they were basically slower and could actually be wrong-footed, if you could extend that to a real-world tennis court. Sharapova was known for her distinctive and loud grunt on the court and her grunting became a signature part of her game and was often commented on by commentators and fans. Many believe that her grunt helped her generate more power and focus on her shots. However, there were also critics who found it distracting. Overall, her grunt became an integral part of her playing style and contributed to her success on the tennis court. Despite the divided opinions on her grunting, Maria Sharapova's skill and talent on the court cannot be denied. She was a five-time Grand Slam champion and consistently ranked among the top players in the world. Her aggressive playing style, combined with her renowned grunt, made her a formidable opponent. Sharapova's grunt served as a psychological tool, intimidating her opponents and giving her an edge in matches. Some opponents and critics claimed that Sharapova's grunt was excessive and distracting, arguing that it disrupted the flow of the game. However, Sharapova always defended her style, stating that the grunt was a natural part of her playing technique and helped her maintain focus and generate power in her shots. Sharapova's grunt became so iconic that it even inspired a term called Shrikapova. Her unique sound became synonymous with her brand and added to her marketability as a player. However, it is important to note that her success was not solely dependent on her grunt. Sharapova's dedication, hard work, and overall skill set were the key factors that allowed her to achieve success in the tennis world. After a career spanning almost two decades, Sharapova retired from professional tennis in 2020. While her grunt may have been a topic of debate, there is no denying that she left an indelible mark on the sport and will be remembered as one of the greats in women's tennis. Maria Sharapova, born in 1987, had an illustrious career in professional tennis. She burst onto the scene in 2004 when she won her first Grand Slam title at the age of 17, defeating Serena Williams in the Wimbledon final. This victory made her the third youngest player to win the prestigious tournament. Over the course of her career, Sharapova went on to win a total of five Grand Slam singles titles. In addition to her Wimbledon victory, she also won the US Open in 2006, the Australian Open in 2008, and the French Open in 2012 and 2014. This made her one of only 10 women to have completed a career Grand Slam. Known for her powerful ground strokes and gritty determination on the court, Sharapova became an iconic figure in women's tennis. Her competitiveness and mental strength were evident in her matches, and she often displayed a never-give-up attitude. Off the court, she was admired for her beauty and fashion sense, making her a marketable figure in the sport. However, Sharapova's career faced a setback in 2016 when she received a two-year ban for testing positive for the banned substance meldonium. This led to a significant decline in her ranking and on-court performance. Despite this setback, she continued to show resilience and fought her way back into the top rankings. In February 2020, 
Sharapova announced her retirement from professional tennis at the age of 32, citing her struggles with injuries and a desire to pursue other interests. Her retirement marked the end of an era in women's tennis and brought an end to a career filled with highs and lows. Sharapova's impact on the sport extended beyond her playing career. She was a global ambassador for tennis and helped popularize the sport in many parts of the world, particularly in her home country, Russia. Her impressive achievements, both on and off the court, earned her a place among the greats of women's tennis. During her playing career, Maria Sharapova had a significant impact on the sport of tennis. She was known for her fierce competitiveness, powerful ground strokes, and mental strength, which helped her win five Grand Slam titles, including Wimbledon in 2004 and the French Open in 2012 and 2014. Her on-court success and persona as a strong, independent woman made her a role model for many aspiring tennis players around the world. Off the court, Sharapova was also highly influential. She became a global ambassador for tennis, using her platform to promote the sport and inspire people to take up the game. She played an instrumental role in popularizing tennis, particularly in her home country of Russia. Sharapova's impact on tennis in Russia cannot be overstated. She became a national hero, inspiring a whole generation of young Russians to pick up a racket and start playing tennis. Her success on the international stage led to a surge in popularity for the sport in Russia, with tennis clubs and academies popping up across the country. The number of young aspiring tennis players increased, and many of them looked up to Sharapova as their idol. Additionally, Sharapova's marketability and endorsements helped elevate the profile of women's tennis globally. With her fashion sense, beauty, and business acumen, she attracted numerous lucrative sponsorship deals. She became a sought-after brand ambassador for luxury and lifestyle brands, such as Nike, Porsche, and Evian, which further increased her visibility and the popularity of the sport. Andy her playing achievements. She was widely recognized for her marketability and became one of the highest-paid female athletes in the world. She was a brand ambassador for various companies and had her own apparel and accessories line.